Kotaku oh. says, Nintendo announced today that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is getting a wild, weird new system called Spirits. Players will be able to assign Spirits, cameo characters from other games, to their Smash Fighters that will help buff them in battle. Its mechanics are a lot to take in, and it's easy to imagine that, like Smash Tro like Smash's trophy system, a lot of players will take it or leave it after the game comes out on December 7th. Fighters can join forces with Spirits to enhance their powers, Smash director Sakurai explained in today's Smash Direct. The Spirits system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. Players can earn spirits like Dry Bowser or Silver the Hedgehog by selecting them from a bounty yeah, from a bounty board and trying to win them in battle. These battles won't be against the spirits, they'll be against some related Smash Fighter and a situation designed to reflect the ethos of the spirit you're winning. For example, to win Owain, I hope I pronounced that right, from mm -hmm. Fire Emblem, players will first need to fight Krom from Fire Emblem. Or to win Mario's Lakitu and Spiny, players will need to face off against Iggy Koopa and three small red bowsers to actually get the spirit on another screen. Players must breach a circling shield around the fighter they beat. That's Bowser and the Lakitu and Spinny example with a gun at the exact right time. So yeah, they're showing the like a gameplay clip yeah. where like Mario has the space gun or whatever. I don't know what it's called. It's Double. weird. Pew, pew. Yeah, just give them guns. That's that's what they need to do in Smash. <laughs> For Mario Rabbids, I guess. I yeah. <laughs> Players can trade in earned spirits they have for a core that lets them summon new spirits, which feels a little like a gotcha game. Spirits have four tiers of power. Novice, Advanced, Ace, and Legend. They'll augment fighters' abilities depending on their sta stats. Each has a type, too, that falls into a category of attack, grab, and shield, which, in a rock-paper-scissors fashion, are strong and weak against one type. No more category. It, well, it's like super reminiscent of the weapons triangle and Fire Emblem games. Yeah. Um, if anyone is familiar with that, the like lances, swords, axes. It's a anyway, very similar thing where one is strong against. It made me think about other, Pokemon. But, oh, well, that too, but it's a little more simplified because it's just three. Yeah. Pokemon. All the different types there's like 800 types of pokemon so <laughs> it's too hard to keep track uh, it continues one category primary spirits and support spirits the latter of which players can assign to primary spirits to give them abilities like strong throw and auto heal mixing and matching spirits will help players get the upper hand against certain opponents adding quite a bit of strategy to battles nintendo said in its press release equipping a spirit is similar to equipping a charm or accessory in an rpg spirit level up through battling spirits level up through battling eating snacks or getting into a training mode some have enhanced forms a sort of pokemon like evolution they have power levels in their fighting type so for example saint falcon maybe 1055 power in the attack category stronger primary spirits will help buff fighters more to buff amiibo figure players spirits can be fed to them which will make the spirits disappear and for some reason players can send spirits out into the world and collect to collect treasure although it's unclear exactly what the treasure does smash ultimate won't have trophies in the traditional game although there will still be an assist trophy system sakurai framed the spirit system as something that exists in its stead and like the trophy system i expect that i won't be engaging with this odd and complicated spirit system much and will spend most of my smash time enjoying its basic multiplayer mode, but players excited to collect the huge breadth of Nintendo cameos will likely enjoy seeing all these little guys you know doing whatever they're doing. So it's a good write up on the spirits mode and unlocking all of the spirits, but it didn't really touch on the actual world of light, which is the best way that I can describe it. It's like Mario Party, but instead of mini games, it's like Smash Bros. fighting, and you start out as Kirby, and as you go through unlocking the different spirits, Mm -hmm. you also unlock the different characters that you can play as to play in. So the reason that Kirby survives in the trailer is because he's the only character that you can start out as in the World of Light. And as you continue, you'll unlock Mario, Link, and all the other characters through uh, their board game. 
which looks yes. really cool. It's a very yeah. awesome take on like the mm-hmm. adventure mode style gameplay. So yeah, what do you guys? What's funny think? is uh, in the chat here. Um, it was like I think it was Gus pointed out um, that or the, through through the chit chat in the chat. Um, Link's shield, the Hylian shield, withstood two hits from those beams before Link died. Palatina, who is literally a goddess, tried to use her shield, her magic shield, and it just went right through. That means the Hylian shield is just that strong. <laughs> so, That's impressive. <laughs> just saying. Um, also, Call Me Zelda one more time says, why is everyone calling it a board game? If you look in the trailer, it shows that it's essentially like a big yeah like an overworld map like board game almost like mario party is how it looks or like a A simplified version of super mario 3d world yeah um Mm -hmm. but instead of yeah like like an overworld map in a game or donkey Kong country game or something like that except instead of going through platforming levels it's through these here it's scenarios and battles yeah Um, i think even nintendo referred to it as a board game in one of their things because i was reading on another mm-hmm. page before i decided to use this one because it seemed like it went more in depth but it completely left out the other thing so yeah sure it looks really fun though i mean i think um <clears throat> especially if this is the way to unlock more characters for, for the multiplayer um i i don't want to compare too much to subspace emissary because it looks really different subspace emissary was almost just like a platforming game where you unlocked smash characters but it was a platformer like really which depending on who you were playing as it could feel really awkward at times uh whereas this seems very um poor gameplay focused like or these are battles with different variables but still like the smash core element of battles instead of all that platforming and stuff that was in the uh intro modes of the past yeah my question yeah. is, could Kirby just inhale the giant boss that was killing everyone? <laughs> you might have to weaken it first, because in Kirby games, you do usually get to eat the bosses, but you have to, like, battle them first before you're able to. Yeah. Interesting. So, so, but, you know, if damage after damaging enough, Kirby probably could inhale it <laughs> and take the power of destroying worlds and uh, killing everyone in it <laughs> so nice all right yeah. Ilya, what were your thoughts on all of the new um, spirits mode the spirits mode thing one of the first things that it actually made me think of even though i have not played this game personally mm-hmm. the gameplay footage that i have seen um may, it made me think of a Super Mario Party, sort of, barely. They're, that like how they added um, the ability to bring in like helpers in Super Mario Party um, when you're going around the board. So it made me think of that because that's the only other game I really know. But it also actually made me a lot more excited for Smash. I have huge respect for the franchise of Super Smash Brothers. It was never a game I really played often, more so my brother, um, one of my brothers, and I would usually get the game just to kind of mess around with him or with some of my guy friends, but I never really had any interest in any of the story modes or anything like that. But watching this direct when I was awake, I was just tired when I watched it. It wasn't that I thought the direct was boring. Boring. I was just tired. Um, Which is why I wasn't in the voice chat when Jesse was uh, streaming it. I was like, I can't. I didn't know. Um, But um, what I did see of it, it made me really excited to smash this whole... It seems like there's so much to get. And so I'm yeah made me excited and it made me actually really want it more than i normally would and reminded me of super mario party <laughs> yeah i also think with all the, the facets of the spirits and, and how complicated all these systems and stuff are going to be i think it was just part of it i think part of why everyone is feeling that it's just so much to take in because it's like in the middle of this direct and it was just a huge information overload yeah um and i could even feel like i'm interested in it but like i'm like starting to kind of go numb with all this information that was taken in i think it was just that so much was dumped on us at once i think if we actually get our hands on it and play through spirits i think we would get it more that it would be easier to understand uh but not being able to actually try it and just hearing um sakurai talk about it for 10 minutes 
explaining all the small details and stuff, it was just like, okay, I'm not quite grasping all of this. So, um, yes. So, Buzz and Till says, I just want to see what Kirby looks like taking Prana Plant's power. So, Me too. the thing with that is, I seen someone post that they wanted a Deku Baba to be the Piranha Plant's Echo. Yeah, oh, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. But with this, like, I was doing a, a stream, I don't know if it was for playing a game or what it was for, but someone said, or they asked me if I thought Smash Brothers would win Game of the Year, and I said, in no situation could I ever see a fighting game win Game of the Year. But after yeah. seeing, uh, like, the new story mode and everything in this Smash Brothers game, I think it'll at least get nominated at the Game Awards for, like, Game of the Year. Definitely best fighting game, but, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I, because, like, when you're playing a fighting game, for the most part, it's just, like, you on one side of the screen, another person on the other, and then you just fight. That's it. Mm -hmm. Like, there's not really an in-depth story or, like puzzle solving or anything like that but maybe this new mode will add so much to it that it'll start to get nominated because with game of the year it has to have like an amazing story amazing gameplay amazing everything mm -hmm. and usually fighting games although sometimes have a good story they're always lacking especially when you compare them to an adventure game or an RPG where the main focus is kind of the story. So, yeah. And I think it'll also awesome. win with music as well. Because the music, it, it, oh my it goodness. literally has There's everything. So much. Yeah, it'll have like best soundtrack easily. Yes. Also, um, mentioning Spirits Mode and all the different like little challenges that are these kind of weird scenarios based on like a character that's not actually in Smash, but then like kind of making something that matches it. It reminds me a lot of the event mode or event matches in Melee, Brawl, and Smash 4, um, etc. Or not etc, just those ones, but <laughs> um, the event matches were very just like, here's a random scenario. Um, sometimes had custom stages that you would like battle on a giant, like one of the trophies, and that was the stage. And um, It reminds me like that, but like way more in depth. Um, that and like the Smash Run in th Smash 3DS, where you would basically like up get the little power ups to buff your fighters, and then you would fight someone else. But kind of like taking those two ideas and putting them together and making it a lot more in depth. Um, like all these little elements from previous Smash games as well. I'm a rambling, <laughs> but sorry, <laughs> I have so much to say. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> uh, before we move on to the next one, do you have anything left to say, Ilya? No, I'm also typing something. So sorry if you hear me <laughs> oh, typing. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to the next news story is uh, the name of the person. So the, the Smash Bro Daniels. Do you want to take oh, it, Daniel? Shoot. Ah, sense. this is the article from Nintendo everything yeah everything Nintendo everything uh, written by Brian is the name of Smash Bros ultimates main antagonist in world of light I mentioned earlier that it reminded me of taboo but it's not taboo um, so <clears throat> the article reads to close out every day to close out yesterday's Super Smash Bros ultimate direct Director Masahiro Sakurai gave fans a look at Adventure Mode World of Light. The opening video shows characters from the roster getting hit with a beam, losing their bodies and transforming into spirits. Some sort of powerful being is behind it all, but most of the details won't be known until launch. However, we do have at least one small tidbit. Over on the official Super Smash Bros. Ultimate website, Nintendo reveals the name of the main antagonist. We know that some folks can be a bit sensitive to spoilers, so we'll put that information down below. <clears throat> so if anyone watching this wants to, you know, <laughs> mute the video for a moment or something, I'll wave my hands in the air like a maniac after I've talked about it. Uh, but the fiend is known as Galim, 
Fighters and spirits will have to team up to stop him before it's too late. Okay, that was your signal to not to unmute it. We should also mention that the Smash Bros. website has a notable update covering the spirits mode, online play, and more. And then it has a link to the website. So, <clears throat> yeah, Galium, so, Galium. I don't know. It's like spelled weird, but yeah. So on the Smash Brothers wiki, there's a few trivia facts about like the meaning behind the name and stuff. It says, Gleam's name is a corruption of the word gleam, and its name in Japanese is a corruption of the Japanese onomatopoeia, shine or twinkle. Both names are tied to the adventure mode, Motif of Light, which I guess Motif of Light is what the light world's called in Japan. Uh, Kaira or Kira, K I I R A, is additionally similar to the Japanese transliteration of killer, which is uh, in Japanese just Kira, K I R A A. Using the same characters aside from the placement of the long vowel mark. The wings on Galeem's body glow in the same colors as the one on the Super Smash Bros. 4 logo, which is interesting. Uh, yeah. says Gleam is a character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Adventure Mode World of Light described as the ultimate enemy in the World of Light prior to the events of the mode Gleam attacks the fighters commanding an army of master hands that seemingly destroys all but Kirby and engulfs the entire galaxy in a burst of light leaving the world a barren wasteland inhabited by the hostile spirits and dark versions of the fighters Oh, no. Yeah, so I'm guessing, uh, as we were talking about earlier, when you have to go through and unlock all of the different characters, maybe you have to beat their dark version, and then you can play as their character as uh, your character in the adventure mode. Mm. So, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. The, the only, like, do you guys have any complaints or anything for it? The only thing that I can really think of is just that it doesn't, necessarily have a body it's just like a glowing orb well, with wings that we've seen like it yeah. could just be so overexposed that like glowing so much we haven't really actually seen what he looks like yeah um, that's always possible dad nobody knows we've just seen his little wingling ding yeah. so in, <laughs> in the adventure mode world of light on the wiki it also says at least one Submap exists for Galeem's location, as one screen shows the back and menu options, but no full map options. In every other scene, all three options slide off and on the screen together. So, I guess like Master Hand or some of the other original bosses, like he'll have his own level that you have to fight him at as well. Or like his own section of the map that you have to go to to fight him. Well, that makes sense. I would. It would be a shame to not be able to fight Master Hand. It, it that's a classic. Yeah. Um, give me Master Hand and Crazy Hand. The most weirdly poorly named characters in Nintendo history, and <laughs> I want to be able to fight them. I would be shocked if they weren't here because everyone is here. Yeah. Everyone is dead. What they say? Everyone Every, is here. Everyone is here. And everyone is dead. Yes. Except Kirby. Yay, Kirby. So Yay, Kirby I have my Kirby somewhere over did there. See, did you see the thing I put in the chat, Jesse? No. I can't look at the dis well, maybe you I can on my phone. You can't look at it? I'm gonna put those links in the uh in the the stream chat as well because <laughs> this is <laughs> this is no. a real plug. <laughs> first of all, this is, this first one here, guys, is a real book. It's called All My Friends Are Dead. All My Friends Are Dead, and it's a picture of a dinosaur. Okay? And then it's replaced oh. with Kirby. And, and this next one here... This next one here is... <laughs> is the one I keep laughing about. <laughs> oh, I didn't click on the wrong thing. Uh, oh, call me Zelda one more time. I read my explanation. Hang on a big guy. What uh trailer Isabel and Fel had looked a different letter wings on their things that actually mentioned their name. 
Uh, that's how you unlock characters. Oh. Okay, I, <laughs> I think there's, like, in that may be the case. I think in multiple games, um, or in the previous Smash games, there's usually multiple ways to unlock the characters as well. And I think because not everybody wants to necessarily play, th some people just want to play Smash multiplayer only. They don't want to go through an adventure mode. So usually there's the, like, adventure mode or single player way to unlock characters, and then there's also a way to do it just by playing in multiplayer mode, meeting just certain conditions, or like, after playing this many matches, you unlock this character. Um, yeah, and there's so many yeah. characters in this game, there's going to be like millions of ways to unlock everyone. Oh yeah, the first like hour you play, oh, yeah. you'll probably unlock like five characters, like, in a go. So <laughs> A lot of people were complaining about that, like, oh, it's such a small beginning roster, I'm like, I imagine yeah. you're gonna start unlocking them, like, like consistently very like quickly yeah. yeah it's like plus you, so you just go to, to the unlock. menu and it's like congratulations it's... you unlocked luigi but and you started also, up the game so... you unlocked 10 characters <laughs> yeah. in in 1999 that was the whole roster guys so stop complaining <laughs> yeah don't even <laughs> not that i really know i was four also, but anyway um unlocking the characters is like half the fun you know, like going yeah. through it and being like, yes, I unlocked something. I don't know. Like for me, that just gets me going. I'm like, yes, I, I mean, did something. I unlocked something. Smash with even just half that of the entire roster. That would be oh, so God. overwhelming to try and do every single character and experiment with all of them. You know, mm -hmm. it's nice to have a small roster at first. So every time you add a new one, you can be like, oh, let me try and feel out this character and, you know, slow going. At least that's how I would want to do mm -hmm. it anyway. But you know, there's so many, I'm not going to be able to I do really... ASMR, and I'm still confused. <laughs> All right, hold on one second, guys. Everyone likes that ASMR. Call. You're getting well, a Well, I just recently heard about this, so... People like that stuff. There's an audio sensory... Mm, yeah, I kind of get what it is. Words. But, like, well, someone commented on one of my videos, Zelda ASMR, question mark, and I'm like, what? You want me to talk about Zelda in a soothing voice? And the problem is, you know, what, what people don't realize is I don't have a soothing voice in real life. Like, I'm even relatively quiet right now. Oh. When I record my videos, my brother is, like, right over there, and my parents are, like, right over there. And I'm like, I don't want them hearing what I'm doing, even though they know I do it. So I talk super <laughs> soft. Otherwise, they're going to, like, listen up against my door and be like, oh, what were you talking about today? And I'm going to be like, go away! I'm so calm. No wonder. You're just like... That it's only because I'm trying to keep my family away. <laughs> just, I hate people. But actually, though, like if I was living on my own, I would. Heck. Just wear it loud and proud. <laughs> Jesse, why, why do you hate people? Now people are going to associate me with being calm, and I'm like. <laughs> it's funny. Because one person why beat Ilya up and bruised her last week. What? Yeah, that person is me. Real life me. Put the makeup on. You're just my alter ego. Stabbing actually, this yourself is my alter with the ego. makeup brush. You are. You are the alter ego. Yeah, Ilya is the alter ego, because that's not my real name. So right. did Ilya attack the other you, or did the other you attack Ilya? Both. Ah, uh, that was a struggle. <laughs> this is weird. So, what's next on the old agenda? <laughs> uh, yeah, so the next- what? Hey everyone, it's me again, Ilya Rose. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And you know what? If you're a fan of videos like this, you should totally subscribe and give this video a like and comment below to let us know what type of videos you would like to see us create in the future. And if you would really like to support all of us here at the Game Over Jesse channel, please consider purchasing a Game Over Jesse t-shirt or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where you can receive many rewards, such as getting shoutouts, having any topic or theory that you select discussed on the podcast or made into its own video, having your question answered, joining on as a guest on the podcast, and playing with us during our Twitch live streams at twitch.tv slash gameoverjesse, and much, much more.